mana kaka wura ongea kenda bende ange wura mano emo miyo ayie chiwo ngima na nikech romba to bende an gi rombe moko mok ni e duondni gin nyaka akelgi kendo gini winj duonda e ka rombe duto no bede kwet ka achiel mana gi jakwat achiel mano e wat nyasai Bwana Yesu asifiwe wadhi mbele maber kendo ikinde mawachope ni wabro yudo jogo man gi wach manalo wacho the tributes and uh, master of ceremony please uh, take us through Ah uh, asante sana uh, kanisa SK tunaongozwa na kanisa ya SK St John's Wachara kutoka diocese ya Maseno South nataka niwakaribishe nyote mliofika hapa kwa niaba ya kanisa kwa niaba ya He Boma ya John Eric Ouko Asanteni sana kuja kuomboleza nasi na kushiriki katika sherehe hii. Ningependa kusema kwamba itakuwa sherehe fupi sana kwa hivyo ukiitwa njo useme machache alafu tumpishe mwingine. Tutaanza na marafiki Then we shall move to cousins. And then my late nephew had grandmothers and grandfathers. And we shall move in that order until the aunties and the uncles will close. Thereafter we will leave the program to the church waendelee kutoka hapo ningependa kuwaita marafiki wa Eric John Ukonderitu nikianza na rafiki Edu na tafuatwa na Zoro wakiwa hapa tafadhali Edu please come and say a few words about your friend the way you knew him and then Zolo Can Sonia OJ and Audrey also be ready after the two Edu of uh, Eric's friends my name is Eddie Eddie Wawero I've known Eric for the last uh, 20 years we've been so close since primary school and uh, high school and uh, from childhood to adulthood we've been very close uh, I had so draft here written for him a best friend a brother and a confidant from childhood to adulthood gone too soon the menace of your death has hit us so hard i'm lost for words your human knowledge in all fields words of affirmation shall be missed you were there during the best and worst times you were special one of a kind you touch lots of lives we shall sure miss you uh for now i bid you farewell safiri salama big busman we shall meet again thank you asante sana edi waweru kwa hayo machache umesema juu ya rafiki yako eric john ouko zolo
morning ladies and gentlemen on behalf of my friends I'm standing before you giving one or two words about Eric first of all I want to send my sincere condolences to the family because of what they are going through he was a very dutiful man he was very kind to the mom and we will surely miss him. As for me, I want, uh, I'll just give you guys maybe some advice because this has been the closest that death has come to me, the closest. I have lost family members, maybe the extended family, but this was among the cream de la cream, one of my best friends. So if you get a chance, maybe you're going, maybe you're having fun, maybe it's a ceremony, graduation, anything. You can just record the memories via your pictures, via your friends. As we speak now, for the last like four days, five days, I have not been able to sleep. I've just been flipping the photos, smiling, breaking down smiling again, breaking down, but it is the memories that will live with me. So I want to bid farewell to my friend. May the Almighty forgive him all his sins and admit him to the highest rank in heaven. Rest in peace, my brother. Uh, Sante sana. Uh, those were just representatives of Eric's friends. I would now wish to ask all the friends, all the friends of Eric, please, wherever you are, kindly just stand up and wave to the congregation all the friends who came because they are friends of Eric. Let's wave back at them, please. Poleni sana, mungu wabariki sana. Asanteni kwa kuja. Sonia. Sonia tafadhali njo. Sonia OJ. Will be followed by Audrey. And then Andrew. I mean, good morning, everyone. Uh, I was a uh, lack words. Uh, we, Eric, there are so many things I could say about him. A very witty person. Uh, in terms of if you discuss politics, economics, life, what to do, he'd always have the best, the greatest advice. Uh, I really every time and he'd give us advices and even us ladies he'd want to protect us from guys out there so for me i have lost a brother um, i had no speech figured out in my mind but all i just want to say is i will really miss eric because he was a blessing to the family to the friends and to each and every person that he touched because in one way or the other, the fact that you are here, you know that he had an impact in your life. So let's celebrate his life because he is a blessing to us. I'd like to call my other cousins to come. Praise God. Praise God again. He who has brought us here will see us through. Amen. Um, praise God. Um, I wrote 
put a small thing for my brother. Um, yeah. Okay. Boss man. Um, at the service on Wednesday, it was really hard. It, 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 it doesn't really hit home for me. You're gone. I haven't accepted, but uh, it's God's will. It's God's will, and God's will must be done. Instead of uh, asking why, for me today, you allow me to celebrate Eric. Um, for the past two months, we've been we've been chatting on text, we've been talking and all that. And uh, for me, uh, one text that I will always miss from you, Eric, is, Oh yeah, when Sani, we feel like a ring. And uh, from there, our stories just went flowing and flowing until the end would end with Aposawa Champ, Tutachapiana Majaliwa. The best memory I have of you is when uh, I started my journey in music and uh, you gave me my first ever event to perform. And uh, it was at, uh, it was called Freak Unleashed, it was at the mall rooftop. And, uh, Till date, I, I still have the ticket and the poster. And I remember you saying, "Mziki wenye kali, lakini lazima uvishi daily kama muda kufika tomorrow." And I will never forget those words. Um, I remember in February when I released my album, and the first text you sent to me, after I shared the link to you was, "Champo me kama na upai, na una kidapi mziki, ujako kisusiya." I told him, you know, critic for project for me. He told me, give me a week. And we came to chant. And the weekend reached. And he actually did. He sent me a text, gave me a call and told me, Champ, you grammy me lili hapo. Itaka, we school matu kabisa, son of langata. Now I'm going to get you. Even though you're not there, you're not here in the flesh, but in the, in the spirit, you will celebrate that win. From way back, You've been a bigger brother to me. Even though you used to eat our time on the Xbox in Westlands. But uh, your heart was pure. It was loving and generous. To mom, thank you for blessing me with the privilege to interact and get to know his beautiful soul. And more so, to have him as a cousin and a brother. And the chance to have made lifetime memories with him and Jay and Sam as well. We are mourning at the fact that we may not see him in the flesh, but one thing he left in all us, in all of us, he was all it's just lovely memories that we live with for the rest of our lives. So allow me to celebrate Eric today as he always celebrated me as well. The last text I got from him was Oh yeah, champ. Lala fiti jo. To say majalio. For me, all I'll say is najua. To look what to me for mingi. Lakini sajal kwa shachora yake. Ata kama to me shino kubali. Majua chumuko. Chumuko. Majua na fura na smile to. So lala fiti boss man. Thank you. He was a good man to he was a good cousin to us and may God let his soul rest in peace. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sonia, Audrey and Andrew. Seeing the smile on Andrew's face even as he reads tells you that he has accepted that death is inevitable. And I wish to ask each and every one of us here to accept that death is indeed inevitable. Lazima uishi daily kauna takafika tomorrow. These are the words I got. I will ask I 
was about to say that the rest of the people that I'm going to call, please come together and let one of you or two of you say something so that we save a lot of time. We are in the group of grandmothers now, and I want to start from the grandmothers from Kisumo. The grandmothers from Kisumo, led by Monica, Biura ne mondo uwachi gimungeo kum nyakuaruni, tokod ngimane ubima pio pio, eka mondo wayao ne de mawuk rai, kaitelo ne gigi anti peres, wa ikre uruma pio pio. Monica, biura ne. Awacho Monica Ouko Kodde Mamoko Awatemuru Timo Mapio Kagi Wok To Auntie Perez Ibigi De Mowok Gemrae To katakai roi Jomoko unge To jomobiro gi ano los Ngatachela ano los on behalf of the Momoko Nya saebe Sechete Waka utuolo Wagoni nya saeru kamano Nikech magi Duto timu reme na kaka ya niye mano chano. Chagoyo mozi. Nenya thimatini. Eric. Kaka nge. Oka rumo kode mangenya hinya. But kinde matizma na rumo kode. Neo nyalo mna luungi ni dani. Kobu wanjo. Kendu uwoyo kodi. Kangama uwoyo gina mangungu. Okuno nyalo uwoyo kangama uwoyo gina thewa. Ne nigi luwa ruma kende. Kendo seche te. Mane wanyalo nene, ni nene kanyati, manigi future maber. But, nikech tho wagoyo mos, maduo, to en manakwayo ni nyasai manguan. O ene maricho ne madine bed no timo kapo dene pinika, manyalo mone neno pinipolo. Nyasai mondo telne, nyasai mondo telne mama ne kachel kuriginyi pinigi duto, togi familia. Mar mzee John Ouko Mangima. Asai mwendo chenu. Eroru kamano. God is good. And all the time. May you be blessed. Eroru kamano. Kapo kalungo demo wokrai. Akwen mwendo Auntie Alice. Pamba. Obi mwendo wache Martin. Alice. Praise God. Praise God again. Nika ni samuluor maranglikani. Ni family. Mas John Ukureru. Friends. Mwok Nairobi. Relatives. God. Family. Mar. Fancy. Anyango. Amo so udu Tony Ruth of Paki. I don't think I have a chance to talk much. I'll be very, very brief because I'm heated badly. I'm going to say a few words about Eric as my grandson, a grandson of my brother and my sister-in-law, Patricia. When Eric was born, I got a phone call from my sister-in-law, Patricia. She called me. Usually we used to laugh before we say a word. We laughed and then she told me, Auntie, I have a wonderful news for you. 
and I want to pass this news to you this morning. I said, please, I would like to hear that news. She told me, Phyllis got a baby. He got a baby boy. In fact, to live on a fry, mingi sana sana with my sister in law. Nikamambia, hey, Patricia, what are we going to do to God? Because God has done something wonderful for our daughter. Patricia told me, me, I don't know. Mungu, amefanya majabu. So, I'm just asking you, tomorrow, on a Saturday, let's go and shop. We go and see the, the baby in the house at Hapa Hill, where Phyllis used to stay. We went there with my sister-in-law. Eric was very handsome baby. Tulika uko till evening. Na tulikuwa na fraku pasana. As we prayed God, mwando mi Eric ngeima, I think God did that to us. Eric odongo nyathima very healthy. Nyathima jaber. Nyathima ne chalo kataki kwargi. So, when I heard about Eric's death, Jawadwa, nilipotea sana, na bado nimepotea mpaka sayi. I'm just asking for prayers for the family of Ouko, the entire family of Ouko, and especially Eodosia Kuna Patricia. Nyasai Mundo Mark Phyllis, Nyasai Omiyateko, Nyasai Mark Auntie Zuduto, Mark Eric, including myself, Ma Arumu Kabisa. But we are just praying for his soul, Nyasai Hotel, ne? Can't take a marriage, my Eric Nedibabe, to Ruth Monongwane. But I call my niece, Phyllis, just got a courage. Inya Komaratego, Inya Komaratego, Tony Ketch, you must look at the Kamano Kuchop, almost so Mokum, so Mokichope. Only acquiring a sign of Makchuni, only Lema Lema Neric, or Sebi, there's nothing we can do. We are all going to die, nobody will see in this world forever. So, yes, I know what your name is, my dear Polo, we just be dead. So, kiye kumruo tuni chieke na idok mangi ma kora bed mna kwa ikore. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Thank you so much, Auntie Alice. What on your a day? Mo walk right. Be urane ma pio pio. Auntie Alice gelange ma chigni uro. Auntie Perez, not Auntie Alice. Auntie Perez. Ah, yeah. Martin, too. Praise the Lord. And Gilunga ni Monica Diambo Uko. And Diary, my Dalaka. I work, Martin, but. Adwati monendi nyaku arani matin. Ho Eric. Onyual kawa neno kai. Kendo ne wa mor konyuale. Kuargi ne mor. Jadungo ukore ru ne mor konyuale nyathini. Kendo ne mor kabisa. Usually nyathini ko ubiru dalaka. So, Kabiru Nenogi, Oero Galungo, and Danny. Danny, managing Maneri Komiowa. All the time, Kataki Romo called it Danny. Danny, nothing man gilur, nothing man get respect. Korocho Posani Ericotta. No one gave book, my duel, my leech. Makiani de you de kam Mr. Uko ni tire kai kuargi ta para ni akanga ni jadung no dotho kada ngi ni dotho mena. Kesh no mi ni kuare ni hera ma malo malich moloya. Ni ati ni nyoo chuo chunywa manu awa choni to ena ngoma katawa ni wegi kare mane watho to eri kudo. Ni ati mati omiyo 
wan kod bwoke dala waka nyakwarwa maduong ma wahero gi chinywa duto onge gima nyalo wacho to nyasaye oket chunye kama ber aonge weche mang'eny hero kamano hero kamano mano monika ne onge matin to hero kamano kuom wacho koro chi polo ne aunties mawuok gemrai aunties ga wago de eric praise the lord i must thank our reverend phoebe for coming here to lead the fellowship i mean to lead the congregation reverend phoebe is our leader church in migosi thank you I must thank all my brother-in-laws who made their time to come and help us to send off my grandson. Everybody who made their time to come, I thank you so much. But what I can say now, it is a dark, a dark and a sad day for us. Here is the home of my late sister, Patricia Oko. When my sister passed away, we did not know and we cannot even believe my sister had passed away and me personally i did not even attend her burial and now my beloved grandson herrick when i call always her mother at night he will always ask mommy is that my grandma molly let me talk to her first we could talk even one hour but God knows why he has taken him away. And he is the, 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 what can I say? He knows everything about her mom. And she's, he has been taking care of her mom. But, hey, Austin, Phyllis, Carol, Justin, take heart and pray and pray and pray we are all sad i said could i go and see when my grandson is being buried or i stay away like i did to my sister but thank you so much may his soul rest in internal peace i thank everybody everybody who are here everybody thank you so much thank you thank you thank you May all of you, God bless you. Amosu, wadwo kunuero kamano pumbiro kwa wanyakwara. Eruru kamano. Amosu, wadwo saure uru. Asa timo mosu. Kumyamarani. Edala patika. Edala ukuka. Togi mawacho. Ni tenya mera. Uri dalu huko ka. Huko onge. Nyoma biru ito dala emwa ikoni. Sane. Uinjo gima wacho ni ni tenya mera. Ana unge gibe te mange. Osedi, osedi. Kata walok manade, kata wasa manade. Tok biti ere. Eri ko sedi. Tomi, mineri. Yesu kende, Yesu kende. Aneno kitek, katanja wana robi, aneno kayu ngu chiri. Chiri ne mibego, katakuwa seko nyatini, kataka nyasawu yenido kina robi. Gima nchia wanene na robi jia, nyatini ya mera, eli bedi go. Eru uruka mano. Eru uruka mano, anan kwar erik. Patricia nyaminwa. Ah, biro timu mos nenya sinya minwa arai nasai obed kode kendo mede teko nyinga solomon okwanyo ero kamano amoso uno kweuru mokwongo ne kanisa mar jangilkano mas tayo nyasi ni amoso uno kweuru eruru kamano kum ka othuolo mar biro konya konya tinyamera chaka duga mosuni 
ngamangi ma kitini fwa na uru ange yoni okoyot wabiro ka elit tunde go abe ma mor kich mu mawa choni mor gijo ma mor ku gijo ma kuyo an marerik di tama wacho tama wacho kabisa kabisa he was a loving caring grandson when you talk to him he doesn't talk like a child he talks like a grown up and he can keep you busy when anybody hears you talking to Eric before seeing whom you are talking to you can think you are talking to a grown up but just grandson it is very sad but we should not be sad nikech each one of us here we don't know time and we don't know how we are going to live this earth let us get prepared you don't know even tomorrow or in the evening Eric has finished his journey it is very sad to me that when i met him lastly normally when we meet he tells me granny next time i'll come to visit you we are going to arrange it is very unfortunate that Eric never visited me at my home but i think that is god's plan it was not his wish but my wish eric was very polite very hard working especially to the mother i tell ferris i've been telling you when even we were in nairobi take heart Whatever happens God knows and there is a purpose for it we don't know but God knows take heart nyakisumo ngeyo ni Eric ne jawo jawodi jambakani ne timoni everything but kaka koro se wok ni ni tienga ma bro timo gik mane Eric timo you know sam will take charge jerry will take charge nithinya mera kauru kwe beduru motegno and i'm very happy nikana donjo dala ko huko gipatika oko chal dala majionge meduru rite kakuse beduku rite ni otok chal ot magunda dala ok chal dala magunda Diuru mbele kanya sai podo medu teko eriko teko wode wakwayo ni manya sai mondo ket chunye kama ber karuto yeto no arom ngat motiyo maber jo motiyo maber no room together mi agoyo nu wero kamano we digu siepe mobiro konya wa konya tinya mera kum kao time tide gingen mondo wabed koduka allah munu nyasai nikawa ngodok hotel nu kodok manaka kan hotel nu kubiro nyasai hotel nu yore duto mago romu enyinguro ti yesu asante ni sana Asante sana 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 de mag Eric mo walk game rai kod kwar Eric agen no wa tieko kar kuire mane walk game rai kwa pani ntie mo dong mo do wacho gimoro thank you very much i now come to the grand parents of Eric Owete John Owukoreru John Gundo Osir kehero inyalo luongo wete ni mamoko to ngata achiel mamondo losi akwai Iroko mano master of ceremony 
Edwin Kerry, Agua, Fred, Umwan Kodwa, Mabiro Nogilothno, and Oadwa Madwong Mudonka, Bet Dendelet. Rua mea e chansu na mundo uguto chopi. Basmo Kongo Akautulo Nekanisa Maler Yokoadwa Yono Ukureru Yoko Tiengo Yoko Tetani Kurando Wede Duto Mubiro Konyamundo Kau Nyakwarwa Amosuno Saureuru Otimo Mos Abro Fulo Nuru Omi nega mankani. Mai lungu ni jeko nye njaga rombo. Osir. Kiri uminde. Ojedung ni. Feli kiliago sir. Jeni banche gilu uregi jadung jono uko. Kuku no kao. Nyansayo kao. Yane makuru wadon kode. Kura bro mie mando mozu. Yane wadudu joke isyo. Vila ndo urusi pimubilo kwa nyako nyakwara. Nyakwara nika yonu huko nindo. Tumi maru huyo kwa wada wiki moko magdala. Mana hiyo ni nintie kaka na ino negotimu. Nini yungi mingi? Malo. Kendo nene enkodi ya eneja huyo mingi. Hatimu mozu. Nyara nyamu. Hatimu mozu mama. Hatimu mozu nyaka hiyeko. Ele está sempre no bolo. Ele é o comando. Ele é o comando de Dom Fred, de Nalo Doc Betpen, que tem de lit. Na o moço Congo, a ele o marido João Gundo Sir, a no o marido João Lima Chogo, na quarta manhã saiu mais o ano, a na nena nunca pôde ter, quando a dele manhã era na Robi. Kaka Jesus o oio, no dia de Natal me jambo olá. Na tima de lua. Ma wanko romo kwa wadu watu anko, anko. Omiyo familia joka John. Nye ni kuyo makende me joko tiengo. Nye ni go, joko tetini. Joko rando. Kwa jumla. Kanyi wa winyo ninyo kwa rwa. Mwichi wa genu nyasayo kao. Kendo nye wangu peka besi chunywa. Ito wathe timo nango. Nyure kuwa hiko John. Wachaku wa hiko Nyura Rose. Kendo mabu chaku kwa rekumwa. Kapu kuka ondalo. Tuwa wacha ni mbagi chenu mbagi nyasai. Mbagi. Omiyo nyara. Wangeyo kama nyoche Eriku. Omako kumi. Maduwa maduwa kuwa hii. Ni bedi gijengi chunyi. Nyasai ungeyo kakabilo riti. And let kanga tuwo kikindo, dogi gie ndi ndi kwenye sae nose chano, ni akawadago, kuru ni sae mo lamo, ni familia mak majo kajon, bedu rugi kwe, ni sae bedu rito, ni uji duto temanti ya watem labo ni joka jon, watem labo ni nyaru wa Phyllis, unu ni sae umiajingo, ubedu mutegno. Otherwise, haka otuwe loke endo, munda gwane joka jwane nero kamano, kumichendo muloso mwame nyakuwara wa yiko dalaka. It was a very short time. Eru kamano maduwa mkumichendo muloso mwame yo, kelo nyakuwara wa kuru wala yiko dalaka kubwane. Wede duto te, mubi hilo, waru wa kuwe dalaka, kendo 
wala amoni kan yesaye oyi watieko kudok kudogi kwe yesaye diri tu eruka man eruka manu jon ah uh, the late jon who career who had very many brothers and all of them are gone except the ones you have seen from our other clan so thank you very much john for representing and uh i'm very very well you and your brothers magi wone wa mudong adwani munda sud mapio ati kum anti score now we want the aunties to come and talk we'll begin with aunties from rai then aunties from kisumu thereafter i'll call one or two in laws before we complete with the uncles uh evelyn the aunties mamoko biurane evelyn and the other aunties please come so that evelyn can speak on behalf of the others then aunties from kisumu fancy you will leave them when the others finish kosok gin machig ne okay i can see them coming asante sana msichoke we are about to finish then we give to the church to continue the other part of the program amoso dutote amorainya kubirokonya wa iko ngati nyaminwani eric was a very sweet boy oh we love derick when you went to eric's to visit my sister oh you will always find eric and eric will fit in you eric will bond with anybody he was a very special boy we used to call her eric my dear sweetie when she was a small baby and she was, he was well very he was a very very jovial boy always smiling down to earth you fit anywhere we loved you eric so much it is now time for you to go and rest it's okay till we meet again it was a special baby to me i felt so i felt a very bad so bad when i had eric was no more i couldn't contain it i was in the office and i just felt i was not myself and my sister told me but i'd like to tell my sister felis that you stay strong this is the time god is with you very close jerry god is so close to you right now don't ever doubt god's presence in your life always read the bible always have some gospel song singing to soothe you we cannot we know that we cannot even describe the pain you are going through we cannot ease it up but god is the one who is going to do that for us and with time take easy my sister we love you be strong for all of us thank you i'm also chokro no kweuru ah dima dawach kum eric nyalotama to audio chain makawono ni kachunkai i first of all thank god for the grace and i first of all thank god for the peace because that is what we've been fasting and praying for a whole week since we had this we couldn't contain the pain it was too much but we resort we looked at god but just like the bible says in the book of isaiah that even if you go through waters you will not sink the bible says that even if you go through fire it will not burn us and for sure i know whatever it is 
we are not going to sink and we are not going to allow the devil to take control of this home. God is going to give us peace that surpasses our understanding to all those who have been hit below the belt. This boy called Eric, we grew up, there's a time where I think we went to Apail when we were very young. We stayed with Eric when Eric was, had just been born. For sure, us, we referred to Eric like Eric, my dear sweetie. Because the laughter, the joy that Eric had long ago when we were staying with them at Apail, I still remember until today. He grew up as a very jovial, very happy boy, very happy soul. Somebody will fit anywhere, will talk to anybody. Eric was happy whenever we we'll go to visit Phyllis. Eric will open the door, he'll cook, he'll do everything. He was such an amazing kind of a person. I like words to describe him. But all I can say on this particular day is that may God strengthen. Sami, may God strengthen you. Jerry, I know and I have faith. I have faith that you have just stepped in. And the only thing that I can tell is that you have the strength of God. He can never take you where he cannot get you out. You have the strength of God. If he puts you there, he will give you strength. They say darkness may endure all night, but joy comes in the morning. There is a purpose for everything. And I believe that joy will come in the morning. I also take this opportunity to thank friends of Eric, such an amazing. God bless you so much for taking your time, for coming here. You people are amazing. Mbarikiwe sana. Thank you for that neatness. Thank you for that closeness. As a family and on behalf of the family, we are so excited about you. Thank you for all our visitors who have taken their time to come here. We say thank you very much. Thank you. God is good and all the time. First and foremost, I want to thank all of you for coming here and join us. That is where all of us are headed to. And um, as my sisters have said, everything that happens in our lives, there is a reason and there is a purpose behind it. Eric was a good son to me. He was so loving respectful, down to earth, and we are really going to miss Eric. For the family, we want you guys pray for us so that we may get strength to continue. Thank you so much. Ruta Pake, I'm also no Kweoro, and Kawuoku Merik, Eric. Last can you give me Eric Hedalaka? Ching Moro, no abido, nabido mapping, apoe, co moanga, co penjone, a watching yanga, no cagayo. Bangi coilo, coecailo angato. Only sunny, auntie, Ikia, a hibo chula. Eric Nichero jokes. Kochako biro tunisa biro gingeri gingeri unanjua unajua huyo gingeri wachoni akiyai utalipa anti Eric nicho nyati majahera Eric nicho erotu gogiji Eric ne joke all the time kam konge Eric oknenya wei kakazi to awachoni nyamera Phyllis kau bedgi chair gel kumroti Yesu. Ene mumi yojiteko, Jerry, Sami, wala mulu, ubedi gichir, eku gumi ya mama bibedo gichir, aduwe ubi magwa, ubi ingroti yesu. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Uwe njoka Eric nigi aunties, Munge unyasai. Matienda ni katakagi yuak. 
ok giywag ka joma onge geno ero kamana ahinya waduto ma wantire ka we need to understand that uh, i'll call anti fancy now and the other aunties to come and then as they come I know that we have the Onyonyes here and the Chabedas kindly after they have uh, finished the in-laws can come here and say a few words after Auntie Fancy and her team Karibu Say, just thinking when baby Eric arrived. Baby Eric arrived a chubby, handsome. He was always just smiling. You know those babies that you want to just carry, 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 you know? Those ones that you're just trying to spoil him. He was that kind of baby. I think Eric made me learn how to knit. I had never knitted in my life, but a baby has arrived. And a beautiful baby, what do you do? You just knit. I've never knitted in my life like I knitted for Eric. And I think I did. Actually, I never knitted for my son, eh? but I knitted for Eric. I knitted. Hey. I think I knitted um, until the other day my cousin was telling me last year that I swe a sweater I knitted a very difficult pattern. I used to even read patterns that had knitted for Eric had been passed on and her grandchild, Akinyi, my Akinyo Kwamo was telling me last year that a sweater that I had knitted for Eric, she had she had it actually because my sister had passed it on to her. So you can see I, that was a beautiful baby. And if you see his pictures, you can see a beautiful baby who's grown into a handsome man. So what everybody is saying, if you look at Eric, you just, you are not talking to him, or he was not looking at you. You turn back, and your eyes meet Eric's eyes. It was an automatic smile. You know, you, you see the picture that is there at the casket, that was a smile. It was just, he was just a happy child. I don't know what to say. There are so many things to say about Eric. You will talk to him about everything and anything. Respectful, loving, a, ch a child who was intelligent, intelligent to the core. You know, any topic he would, you'd have a conversation and a rich conversation and that smile. You just turn, he's there smiling at you. That's the Eric. That we've lost today. Really? Really God? Really God? Thank you, really. That's all I can say about Eric. There's so much to say about Eric. His love, 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 laughter, smile. Yeah. Let me just hand over to my sisters to just say something about Eric. Uh, good afternoon. Um, when it comes to my nephew, um, Eric, I would love to have a good memory of my sister's son. Because one thing I know that uh, when he was in our family, it brought a lot of joy to her parents and to ourselves. Because uh, one, uh, to us, the blessing that God granted to us, we felt it. And uh, for sure, God surpassed even the blessing that this, our, grand, our, our nephew actually um, despite the circumstances, brought a lot of joy to the family. And that is why when you see we are grieving, uh, it's not that we don't know the faith of God that is done in our family, and uh, we are grateful to God. And that is why for the strength we have today, we, we, we actually look back to what God did. 
and in what God has done, his word is very clear. You give thanks in everything he has done. And as I stand today, knowing that I know Christ, it's not the end, because I know we are asking so many things from that day. But uh, one, I have not thought I would talk about it today, but uh, we have to go by faith, because uh, that's the pillar that we must run on, and uh, that's what I'm riding on today. And to my sister, I know, I wouldn't say it is well, but I've never been well, and it will not be well. Because I understand what it means. But I did not say, I understand what you feel. And in all this, I know how far God has brought you through. This, God still I know that he grant us the direction of where we need to, what we need to think about all this. And also to my nephew and my niece, that uh, my nephew and my niece, Jerry and son, we still put you into prayers because I know what we went through, it would be easy for what we did on that day. And I still ask God to grant you his peace that surpasses all understanding. Because our words we cannot even explain. Actually, I can't. And um, to those who've come to mourn with us, we thank you. Uh, for the standing in, as we see, it indicates how, actually, like you see, it's most of Eric's friends. So he built relationships. And we take this opportunity to thank you and stay blessed. And even as you are journeying through, we still ask God, because things have been so easy for us, that uh, that is why the turnaround time was very fast. And we bless God even for that. Um, I'll give it to uh, Albert. Sorry, to Esther. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I didn't, I've never imagined that I would sit, stand here and talk about Eric. Eric was my son. As my sisters have summarized, he was a very chubby baby. And Eric um, really loved me. And he could not say Auntie Esther. So he said Auntie C. And the other people, the other, my nephews and nieces who followed, now know, know me as Auntie C. Um, Eric, as a young man, he would really cook for me when I go to visit his mom. Eric would tell me, Auntie, you have seen us through, and now is your time to sit down and see how well I can cook. Do not stand where you are. I'll bring you water to wash your hands and just have a chat with mom. And after you are through, don't, and he knew that we would chat for a long time with the mom, and he would tell me that I know today you, are, you guys are going to sleep past midnight. But then it's been very hurting the last one week. We are still hurting. All I can tell, tell my sister is we know how you're feeling. We might not understand, but we stand by you and we'll walk with you through every day. Just feel free to have, call us anytime, even when we are not around, even when we are busy. We will stand with you, my sister Phyllis. You are my, my sister and my best, best friend. I will stand with your children too. Jerry and Sammy, you know Auntie C is always there for you. Thank you. Good people of God, praise the Lord. Our family, friends, and everyone who is here, it's really not a very good afternoon for us. As a family, we have been hit. We have really been hit. It is the will of God. It is the will of God. It is the will of God. But I would say that this is a day that the Lord has made. He did his will. I can say that I would want to repeat because even to me, Eric struck me right from the time when he was born. This was a handsome boy, a loving boy, a 
boy come right from jail knew he was smart. A boy who knew to match whatever he was putting on his clothing. And he could walk confidently. He grew up into a tall young man, a fine man. When I say fine, I'm talking about a really fine man. Eric was a loving boy. He cared so much. And he was an all rounded boy. I want to thank my sister Phyllis for having brought up Eric in the rightful way. Any parent would admire to have a child like Eric. My sister did her best. I want to thank her so much. I want to thank Eric, uh, Sammy and Eric for having been very good siblings to Eric. They made a wonderful family. But the will of God has been done. There's nothing much we can do. We leave it to God. I also want to say that we sincerely want to thank each one of you who has found time to come and condole with us. It has been a very short but again a very extremely long journey for us as a family. This one week has been a week of hell. It has been one week but a week that we can never forget in our lives. We want to thank you because from where you are, you deemed it fit to come and be with us. We never told or we never announced to anybody because we wanted the person who cared to find time and be with us. But sincerely, this morning is so difficult. It's not about the numbers, but it is about how you feel for us as a family and for Phyllis as a friend. Everybody here got a very short notice. If I don't even got any notice. So we want to thank you for your input in this process. I want to thank everybody who was able to input into this process. We appreciate we don't take it for granted. As I continue, I would like to say that a special uh, thank you to my people who have come in here. Malscope group, if you have the opportunity, kindly stand and wave to this group. Malscope, these are our family friends. We grew up with them. They were with Phyllis, Phyllis, so all of them grew up in Jericho. And they have come all the way to condole with us. I would also ask uh, the people whom I work with in our office who are present here today, if they could just stand and wave to the congregation. My colleagues in the office, thank you so much for coming and being with us. I sincerely thank you. I would ask the DCCs for Kisumu. It will not be fair for me to allow them just to go and they have come to condole with us. DCCs from Kisumu, can they come and just wave to the crowd if you allow me to ask them to come. Kisumu DCCs. The administrator from Kisumu is here. Please join us. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I don't know how to begin because of the solemn moment that we are having today. Following certain demise of our son. My need to say, Mom, take heart. Mom, Phyllis, take heart. And let the Almighty God comfort you during this difficult moment. It's not easy, but with God, it will be fine. May the Almighty Father rest Eric soul. Thank you very much. My name is Wanyonyi, I'm the Deputy Fund Commissioner, Kisumu West. Thank you. My name is Benedict Munyoki, the DCC Moroni. And let me take this time and this opportunity to condole with you and uh, say we are feeling in our heart that we have lost for the grief that you have in your hearts. Come to condole with you, and we want to say to tell you, feel condoled. We are together in this journey, but at the end of the day, 
family is carrying the whole blame, the whole grief. So we are together at this journey. So feel controlled and we are together. Thank you. My name is Angeline Were, Musikoy, Deputy County Commissioner, Kadibo Sub County. Mom and uh, our sisters and the entire family, all I can say is it is well. We normally ask why, because of our little faith. But what we can only right now wish is. May God's authority, may God's love, may God's guidance be amongst you and amongst everybody. May He give you the strength. Our handsome son has gone and we may never get him. But God knows why it has happened. Pauline. My name is Jacinta Uganda. I'm an assistant county commissioner, Kadibo. I just want to say pole to Madam Phyllis and the entire family for the loss. And may, may God give you the comfort to bear it. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you so much, my colleagues. I'm sure you're wondering why I broke protocol. I'm young, the youngest in the family and they may not give me the microphone again. Despite the fact that this is my area. I know them. <laughs> Let me also ask my friends who have come to gondol with me to kindly just wave. Uh, but they will be given an opportunity to speak. Mrs. Kakwacha, Chairman Chamber of Commerce, maybe you just wave. And I'm, I'm requesting the Master of Ceremony to give them an opportunity. Any Kata Steven, no Chadala. <laughs> but it is well. To my sister Phyllis, I know as it is now you are saying it is not well. I remember mom used to tell us all the time, Gimaber Oksik, Kitu Kizuri Aikai, and it really didn't make a lot of sense then. It really didn't make a lot of sense. She used to say good people don't last. And because of that, we never saw Eric. We knew Eric was a good boy. We knew it was the best thing that we had. But we never knew that he would be plucked among us as this soon. I know God normally takes very good things and good people. God has taken Eric. I also want to ask my friend Molly, Molly just to wave. Molly, thank you so much for standing always with me. Phyllis, Nyathiwa, Nyathima, Alamoni Mananyasari. Wikich, give me winjo, kaka hii winjo, ginje erigisami, nyasai kende mune. I cannot reach where God can reach in your heart. But I can just pray that God helps you, my sister. It is a big loss. To nyasai brote lungwa. Iyorni, it is a journey. You were just offered the other day, now you've lost your son, and we've lost our nephew. I just pray for God's intervention, and to God to meet, for God to meet us at a point of need. Thank you, family. Asante ni friends. Asante ni kila mutu ambaya kwa hapa, na mungu hapa. Asante ni sana. Thank you so much. Oh, the county commissioners, I know they are here. I would humbly request them also to come. You know, Phyllis was our boss. And it won't assist you to come as in your dog. So allow my colleagues, county commissioners, who have come to condole with us. I knew they would come during the time for administrators. But watch our budget was here. They have come from far to condole with us. protocol. You've just been thrown in the wilderness and you don't understand what is going on around you, but the Lord is there. The Lord knows why. Our prayer is that you don't leave your Bible. All the answers are with the Lord. Every thought, none of us around you, even your friends, have the answers. Please, 
kneel down every day and pray after this because we are going to depart from here. Right now we are so many, but you're going to live you alone. And when you're alone, that is when you now understand and that's when you're hit hard. But don't leave God. Don't listen to anybody. Hold God with all your hands, with all your might, with all your power. And God will see you through. I don't wish to say much. I just wish to say once again, Pauline Sana, and may Eric's soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. Uh, my sister Phyllis, uh, the church, and Josephine and the entire Uko family, please receive uh, my greatest condolences from myself and my family. My name is Pauline Dola, I'm the Deputy Regional Commissioner Nyanza. I also bring the condolences of my boss, the Regional Commissioner, Mr. Magu Mutindika. Phyllis, my sister, I know that it's very, very difficult for you, but as my colleagues have said, and speakers who have spoken here, it's only God that can heal you at this time. And Sami and Jerry, we will live here, but your mother will need you. And healing takes a process, one day at a time. So when we are gone, make sure that you are there for your mom. And uh, Josephine and your siblings, please remember to call Phyllis once in a while to find out how she is doing. But the greatest healer of all is God. As they have said, uh, read your Bible. I know it will even be difficult for you to pray, but just open the Bible and read a verse and ask God to give you peace. He knows why he has done what has happened has happened, but all of us one day, we are all headed there and you will meet again. So my sister, take heart and may Eric soul Rest in peace. Thank you very much, the Ngao family. Thank you very much. And I return now the microphone. Thank you, Josephine. And thank you so much, the CCs, for having even brought condolences from the regional commissioners. We take them kindly. And thank you very much for coming. Uh, allow me to recognize the presence of our area chief and the area assistant chief. Kindly feel welcome. Uh, I know we'll give you some time to greet us. For now, I would like to ask uh, our in-laws to come so that uh, they condole with us. May I call the Onyonis, if they are here. And may I also call the Chabedas. Maybe they can come together. Please come. I would also like to recognize that Ambassador Richard Owade is among us here. He is Eric's grandfather, and I would request him after our in-laws have said a word that he comes and say something. Karibuni san. Ruoto paki. Daka wili kuwoyo. Ruoto paki. Eru kamano. Wanka kusinyisu wan oche dalaka to abu miyo colleagues maga thulu mwondo temango owachia matin kwa mwote mwerekane you are welcome and you can speak to the language most you are most comfortable uh, thank you very much uh, for me uh, it's to condole with the family and to say tuko pamoja through this journey to offer the support Thank you. I'm here with uh, my brother, also representing our side. Uh, maybe you can say a word or two. 
Uh, I'm here to condone with the family and uh, on behalf of uh, our family as well, I'd like to say Polini Sana and uh, and any kind of support that uh, uh, will be required from us uh, will be ready to offer. Thank you very much. And I will like in the Angia Wood. Ya wuda ni wano wa mfangano. Ya wuda ni is much closer to the family than even me. Makoro, on behalf of the Onyonyi family, abu miye thulu mundo o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o Family Marouko, where they could see a pair. Most only Nyasai bear, Sechete, Wangi Mangan Wanya Lawach and Kichwan Gikuyo, Eric Nanyati Majahera, Eric Katakane Pudinan, Kapokin and Tio Domanako set up Go Kyo Mosi, and Yinga Rosalie Natia Nogada. Anyaro nyonyi. Anyaro nyonyi. Anyaro nyonyi. Anyaro nyonyi maduomu. To manakako wadu wa wacho. Yuocho wadu wagi. Family maju kwa huko ni. Gino siepe na yuoche gyo siepe na kabisa. To enche nroma nyasai. Nyasai odichi gijogo mabeyo. Oka ogicho wani kapoku gipode richo. So, Mama Njeri, Njeri, Gisam, Adwa Nyisa Ugi Morachia. Sani, Sama Kiku Mokote Mwale Kama, Inya Lowe Ni Nyasa Chiwe Ito Kowe Yi. Nyasa Ipodmana Nyasa Ikendo Podo Eri, Medmana Bedo Gigeno Kuo Meni, Kech Bible Nyiso Wa, Ni There Is Nothing That Happens Without God's Knowledge, Katama Ungeyo Tungeyo Gimomi Ote Mwale. Tani gima ngeyo ni podo heri, poko wei. Beho keno wei, bedi mana kumutegno. Pile wa wacho ni bedi gichir. Chir o kyot. To en mana nyasaye masani nyalumio uchir. Kata wa wachango. To nyasaye ema nyalulo chunu. Ago mosainya, nijo kajadung jon. Ago mosainya, nijo kisumo korando. Mowi to nyathima jaber. Eric ni wei maben, ni wei majahera, tonoja luor. Eric no ngeo kaka relate giji at all times. Ongeo kaku relate gijo madongo, ongeo kaku relate ginyithindo. Mosa inyama manjiri. One kodi, gimwanya loti monge, ni manani wabiro medo lemoni. Ni kesh, nyasaye manya luchu nkodi ya sama kama. Hiro uru kamano. Uh, to Mama Njeri, to Njeri, to Sam, I'm only urging you to continue praising the Lord. That is the only way out of, that will enable you to come out of this tragedy stronger. It has happened under very tragic circumstances difficult to live with, but which we must live with. I can imagine you going back to Nairobi, settling in the house, Eric is nowhere, and you know he's not coming back. That is why you must continue praising the Lord, and that is the language I've had here through and through. We have many people in the Bible who went through very, very, very difficult circumstances. They never gave up. They continued praising the Lord, and there were rewards thereafter. Have faith, and you'll come out of this tragedy much stronger. Pauline Sana. Bwana Sifiwe. Bwana Sifiwe. Uh, siku ya leo ni siku ya uzuni lakini
tunawachia Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ndiye anatupa hao watoto na Mungu ndiye anapanga maisha yao. Mungu alipanga maisha ya Eric na akafika, akafika mwisho wake. Hatuna la kusema ila ni tuzidi tu kumshukuru Mungu kwa familia ya my daughter Phyllis believe in God. Mungu atakuwa pamoja nawe atakuchunga na wale ambao umebaki nao na wataka nawe. Na hasutuna la kusema kwa miaba ya familia ya Chebeda mzee angekuja lakini hakukuwa na jisiki vizuri na akasema nilete rambi rambi zake kwa familia hii Mungu awalinde na Mungu awabariki Bwana asifiwe na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu poleni sana na Mungu wa amani azidi kuwafariji kwa majina naitwa Morin Kiharo Bwana Mimi nasema kwa kwa familia na Mungu awape nguvu ni hali ngumu lakini Mungu ndiye atawatuliza mioyo Mimi ni dada ya Jenny Chabeda naitwa Rose Andiva mbarikiwe Asanteni sana kwa kuja kuomboleza nasi Asanteni sana We are almost reaching the end of uh, this session before we hand over to the church. Allow me to ask uh, the following people to come and say a word very quickly. I think we have Mr. Botella. We have Benson. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, Asante, Asante, they have just finished. Uh, we now move to the uncles from Rai, then we'll finish with the uncles from Kisumu. Tomo Uko, kindly get ready to represent us. And the uncles from Rai, Patrick, please come with your team. Awa chojo kadulo, biuru mondo ukukodwa. Asante sana. Opaku ruruwa, opaku rujo kanisa, an, anilunga ni Patrick Dulo. Ano wadi gi Phyllis. Aka uthulu ni mondo agomos on behalf of our family ne joka uuko kuo moti more. En gima teka henya kaja nyo alko nyate. En remu wange ni nyame no winjo ma ruth nya seike ne ma nyaloko nya wajino. One kaka weteni wakuyo kodi. Wala mwani ni mwani nyasayo telni. Mwondo yae bugo maidonja ni mwondo jibedgi kue maen kende mwanya lomi. Anka gomera kapoka wok daher mwanda mie tulo mwondo wok uduwe ni bende. Chokruok, elo, jokanisa, kakado, kum jokanisa, mateo nyasi, ne, family, marwaya, filis, sami, kodjeri, ge, nitewa yaduto, amosu, chokruok, ni, oyimore, Opakruoth, ya tuling manade ya, wena ngo, poku chie mokosu, wanya loke lunu chie mokoku nyalo usu. Mosu jini otamu, mosu jini, opakruoth. 
koso kuwinj dhok ni nikech dhok ni endi ema ne omiye an moko moko go to nwanyiewo anyway uh, aduoko ni nyasaye ro kamano ko miwa thuolo mondo wa chunka wakel moswa mag kuyo makende ni uh, nyamenwa Phyllis onge gimo nyalo wacho wala munu mana mana nyasaye mondo obed kodu e kinde ni wan to pod wan kodu to nyasaye manyalo thiedho u kendo en manyalo chango u e seche ma un kod kuyo gi lit man kamano eruru kamano aduoko ero kamano ero kamano ahinya kapok tomo biro akwayo ni mondo ambasada Richard Owade please come and say something about this grandson of yours pole sana na karibu amjambo nyote amjambo hey, good um, afternoon Uh, I think as has been said my name is Richard Owade. Um Phyllis in Kijaluo is my daughter. Um uh, Mr. Uko was my sange. That's a word which is very difficult to translate into Luo. I mean into English. Uh, but it means somebody with whom you are you have married sisters um there were if i'm not wrong six of us uh who had married sisters at kadulo and i married the youngest sister uh but i think of all of us i'm the only one that uh, still uh, Uh, standing it is sad it's a sad occasion very tragic i actually did not know this had happened until just the day before yesterday in the evening when charles called me and he apologized because he thought i had known but somehow uh, nobody remembered to to inform me but i can understand because sometimes these things can be so hard can be so difficult that you don't even remember uh, some of those who should know uh, i want to take this opportunity to to condole the family i think what i could say has been said by everybody who has spoken before me uh, normally in the natural course of things it is easier it's never even easy but it is better for uh, young people to bury their parents the older people but in god's scheme of things uh there's nothing like that there's no order i think when we are born it's only him who knows when we will go we don't know when and we don't know how we leave it to god and when it happens we only go back to him we thank him for the days we lived I know uh, this young man took very good care of the mother. He did that until, you know, the end of time for the mother. But God has deemed it the other way around. So we can only thank him for the days we lived with him. And um, Phyllis, I would say, maybe take time to read the book of Job. Read the book of Job slowly from the beginning to the end. Because I think in the Bible, there's nobody who suffered like Job in the name of God. But he kept his faith and his uh, belief in his God. So we can only pray for you and wish that uh, God will take care of, of you. Sandi Nisana can't say more than that. Mosuru. Agomo Sainya. Nejo dala duto moyo dolitni asante ni sana Thank you very much Richard May God bless you Kapoka 
achiwo microphone ni ne wadwa Tom ada kuwa ni joko kamo kubie kama tin doonde ochie biuru mbende mundu wachie matin doktor Then Tom will follow to represent all of us, the uncles from Dalaka. Nekanisa, Wedo, Wedo, Musipi, Duto, Taimo, Biro, Konyoa, Ko, Eric, Amosu, Duto, Nemsaauru, Joka Matuwe, Na Thonya Thini, Obuoga mangeni. Tuwe na joka ma. Ma Merik. Hapa ningeo kinda kodi gi Erik. To atimu numos mangeni mama Erik. Nyatini obuoga joka ma. Ilo ngane na manokamu. Atimu numos. Kuwa mwito. Na tisista na. Mwosuro rainya. Yo creo que mano, hago más, niña me ramo y todo de, ninga mos a dulo camo, angeni gap modong no, niña me rana no matek, ni que chan cana vi todo ora, no siet na cabeza, kido angeni nga to, ko vi to siet neto gap no dong, ki don ya to gudi ambo ti yo doka camano be to hongi, doka ye ki ye ni siet no e mos, niña me ra. Nekanisa matayo nyasi Welo Iwede mubiro wakonyo Kwa Kwa Timatin Merik Waduku miero kamano Nefamilia Nyamera Phyllis Mosa inya Kwa nyinga ni lunga ni Henry Atima Mosa inya Nyasai mabiro rito huu and give my late Kiwi tongue at Timmy Hero Michig Nigodo to Wadu to Awain and Yasai. The Mora Mora Muiti Motimo, Wawain and Yasai Ungeo, Broduko, Kameric, Hawaii. Gigo do to Mancheric Timon, Yasai Brogwedi, Kendibro Miteco, Marovaca, all these things. Thank you, son. Nekanisa, Matanyasi, Velo, Vedo Kodosiepe. I'm also Uru Duto Nyokwe Uru. And Vika Chunga. Anna Gone Mana. Me Neri Pole. Kum Gimoti Moreme. One one law. I give dog what of Nyal Raw meet and in your side. Emma Bru me, a reco. Kendoma Bru Punya recorde. Kendoma Bru Dugo. Chunye. Kakanisha. And Vika Chunga. Eric Ni. Ange, hari ni walenya kakuro ni uchopo kama kuro Oni inde liya ni Di mako incha biru kisumoka Kani incha tuo Kuro kasi tiego Kuro Na yue do supermarket moro kisumoka Ginyi tenda Kuro angiso ginyo kama Adi mabor Chungu mando ukoa wa monda deyo Kuro kwa uke do supermarket no To ane no iri Kuchunga mae Tangiso nye tenda Umado ngicha lo watuwa Toka lunge ni rik, tolo kore kongi ya, magi manoti mano na wey. Toko nena, to moso awate keno nyati mamor kabis. To ongi swani to busi neno madi, tapi lu kari madi nika. To se mu toka mu chunga ya cha, madi ne ye, wotate irumo dudu mos madi. Kwa di kuro, ebi ko yadam toka, mwa moso mingi. Kuro bed kanyo mwa wuyo ma bed, ma rik. Okwa yo nyati na namba juu mara mo chunga ni mando mi na namba ne manen simbe manen go no lalgi namba kwa mo chunga ni ma nyati na no oteo matek mo mi namba nyati wa mo chunga ni kero nogis nyati na ni mando ni juu mando go chine odwa wu yokoade koro gima nge doa wa chukuru nge keshi eri gijo na nge herore kabis koro kwa seti yako mo chiko gime nge Ma Eric no kwa ma Eric no diolueta gi pe ya manado kumana e kenona doko nero kaman.
Koro kanya winyo tone, nyo bedo na malit, nikesh kaka na nene, kika kanya winyo tone, ena yugi mwono duya chie. Kana nene, koro kanya chaka winyo tone, tapi nyo nite eri kwa nyo ngi macha. Ango madimi nyo si tone, toke li tone, tutune bo kwa winyo. Nyo donyo na malit kawisa. Koro filo, anako inyatewa, ni nyasaye ema biro bedo ya hochni, kendo biro punyo reko di kendo di miteko. Ne fancy gi nyithwa mamoko go ubedwa beda gi chir mago gik mayudo ji adoku ne ro kamano ero kamano a mago ne ro kamano ahinya kata kudok pet pin ya sai mundo gwedu ne nitie request ne pokwa recognize uh, Israel agina is amongst us here and mesi sakwacha E, tapi lo gari ngoma met kanyo, oktonga wei maki mose congregation ni. So Israel and uh, Mesi Sakwacha kindly come and say a word. Angeni ki na cham choma kuchoma bera hinyo. Chwax. Karibu Israel. Aham uh, jambo. Uh, mimi kwa niaba ya wafanyi biyashara wa kisumu na leta rambirambi zetu kwa msiba ambao umetupata kumpoteza kijana wa miaka kidogo sana miaka salasina mbili Eric na piga pole sana kwa mamake Phyllis na ndugu zake waliobaki na tunajua kwamba mola ataiwe karoho yake pema peponi na sisi tuliyobaki tuendelee kuombea familia sababu uh, mzee huko alikuwa ni mtu tulikuwa tunapendana sana alipokuwa hai na uh, uh, si hata kuchunga na wale ambao Phyllis na nyete madam Phyllis ne wede usie peduto maneka akelo mos makende kenda kelo mos na madam Phyllis akelo mos na madam Josephine mwe ito nyathe nyamengi hengi mapenye ni wasiko wa winjo valet kanya saye yoka wachiel kumwa edierwa hengi malit makata mos mwa goyogi okdonji toni keche nangama Osebedo kodwa engimane chakro nyuole nyaka koro bedo kaka obedo na wendo. Pate temo ni mundo kuewa, teduto nyasae emanyalo mano. To madam Phyllis ketichunyi ne nyasae. Nyasae jahocho. Enbe mano mi inyati, to enbe nemo neno ni korokawe, onge gimadua wachi. Wapro penjo rema ngeny, to ansa bro bedo siro. Nindo bro tamo rete roa, to ansa bro bedo siro. Chimo bro tamo re, 
to answer bro bedo siro. Te duto, nyasaye maber. Wakelo kuyo wa, kendo wangiye. Ni nyasaye achel ni bema podu protelo na waka wangwaka, kawado kuonde mane wa ai. Gima tingo wadu kununu ero kamano, tomosahinya madam Phyllis. Asante ni sana Asante ni sana Mkienda kukieti mungu wa wabariki Nataka ni malize Ili tupatie kanisa Fursa nzuri ya kutulisha Na kutufunza Kapo ni Ya siyasa maro ni tieka Takua ini mwondi ngonwa Ni keche o kwa biti mwasiasa kawono kuru mwasahinya I would like to call upon Tomo Uko and all the uncles of Eric to come so that Tom can represent us and that will mark the end of our session before I take it back to the church to continue the rest of it Asante ni sana kwa hulu wa menisikiza. Asante ni sana kwa utulivu enu. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, mine will just be brief because as uh, we've heard from every speaker, we all know who Eric was through everyone who was giving up the speech. In case you didn't know Eric, you could just, uh, what, if you're keen in listening to what people were saying, you will know who Eric was. He was a great boy, and he was a, a, a first one in, the, in our grandchildren in the home. So all we thank you for coming in, uh, each and everyone, to coming in and support the family. And what I would ask you all, before you leave, and when you're leaving, just put the family in prayers. It's prayer that is needed now. Each and everyone, just put the family in prayers. Thank you very much. I'll pass it over to my brother. Thank you, Tom. Um, my name is Austin Ouko, um, Eric's uncle. Um, well, uh, Eric used to look up to me, so he never gave me room for error. Um, I have a lot of memories with Eric through his schooling, when he grew up, and uh, he used to refer to me, uh, I, used to, I used to refer to him as Chum. And I guess all his friends knew me as his uncle who he used to look up to. Um, Eric, as you've heard, was a superhuman being with a golden heart. He was always smiling. Um, and I vividly recall every Sunday when I used to visit, because I always visit their house every Sunday. Um, and they used, the Jerry, Sami, and Eric used to refer to me as their firstborn, because I'm um, close to the mom, uh, even from when, when I was born. And uh, Eric. Um, we used to have a lot of chats about football, EPL, um, um, which team would finish before, either Arsenal or Manchester, which one would finish before, which team signed good players, as I said, in church, and which, which one signed Conmen or Matapeli, as he used to refer to them. Um, as you've heard again, um, and as everyone has said, Eric had a kind heart, very kind heart, and uh, he would help and you go to any length to help anyone, his friends, family, anyone who had an issue or a problem. So Eric was a blessing, and uh, I'm a true testament that Eric took care of the mom. Um, it is quite unbelievable. Uh, he, he, he went out of his way. He was extraordinary in taking, ensuring the mom was comfortable, in ensuring the mom was okay. And uh, I don't know what to say because uh, my heart as a person, if I speak on my behalf, is bleeding. But uh, I know Eric, um, we leave it all to the Almighty, and I know even the angels in heaven are already enjoying Eric's stories and Vipasho. I'm sure they are very excited. Uh, and as other speakers have said, uh, God takes away the best 
And this is a true testimony that God indeed takes out the best. So champ, as you go, we leave you to God and uh, till we meet again champ, you're a great man, a superhuman being. I will truly, 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 truly from the bottom of my heart miss you and uh, I don't know how life will be um, after Eric is gone. But uh, to my sister Phyllis, you have stood with me from when I was born. I will stand with you as I've stood with you and I, I know I will not say it shall be well because it is not well but we pray that God gives us the grace to deal with whatever comes after this. Thank you everyone for coming and as you've seen um, the friends of Eric who have come I, from the bottom of my heart you've just amazed us and uh, with your support and you've gone out of your way, taken your time, taken your resources and uh, you have made it a little, you have made it easy for the family to be able to give Eric a decent send off. May God bless all of you. Thank you very much for my family, my siblings, my aunties, my uncles for working with us through this journey and may God bless you and meet each one of you at your point of need. Thank you very much. I'll pass it on to my brother. Opak Ruth. Ruth Opaki. Yeah, yeah. I Ruth Opaki. I will switch to my normal language now. Um, today is such a, a sad, sad, sad day for us. And for me personally. Because today we are laying to rest a young man a young and very much loved man we're sending him to rest and when such a thing happens it means that whatever relationship you have with him you will never experience the full extent of that relationship the reason being not in my wildest dreams would i ever thought i would be burying eric because as an uncle, there's a lot of things that you think of in your relationship with your nephews and nieces. And one of the things that I always joke with Eric about is that in my old age, I'd be those uncles who are called, wearing your old suit. You know, by then it will be an old suit because I'll be an old man going to deal with the circumstances and life of Eric. Those are some of the things that I had in my mind when I thought of Eric. I never imagined that I would be burying him. And that makes this a very, very sad day for me. Extremely sad day for me. You know, as an uncle, you get to do all this. Uh, intriguing things of an uncle. You know, there's a lot of mbuak in being an uncle. Because you have to advise your uncle. You have to talk with your nephew because they grow up and become men and engage them as a man. Because Eric had grown up and what we had got to now is became friends. So I used to engage him not as a young little boy but as a friend of mine who was my nephew. And that makes today a very, very sad day for me. And I can see all of you are here today because you have a relationship either with Eric or with the family. And for that reason, I want to thank you for the support that you've given us. And Mama Eric, I'm calling you Mama Eric, Philo. There's not anything that I can say. I've tried to think about what to say. There is not anything that I can do because I've tried to think about what I could do and I've ended up blank. But I'm here and I will continue to be here. I may figure out what to do and if I don't, I will be here. 
because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And that is the honest truth because this is not something that I'd ever imagined. I'll be in a position to be doing, to be burying somebody that I loved very much. Somebody that had touched so many lives in a positive way. So Eric, God's will has been done. Somehow I need to understand it. Somehow I need to move on. Somehow I need to accept it. At this point, I don't know. But truly and deeply, I loved you, Eric, and will continue to do so. And today remains, and I think forever will remain, to be a very, very sad day for me and for, and to speak for everybody else, but for most of the people who loved Eric. So thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I choose to follow my brothers. Uh, I'm Gunila. I would be. I am Eric's auntie, and I just remembered uh, my late mother was very close to Phyllis, and I also remember that my late mother was very happy at Eric's birth. And I was, as I was sitting there, I was just imagining if my mother was here, how would have how would she have responded to what has happened today? I'm so sure I should have been really, 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 really sad about it. So, Phyllis, it's, 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 I, when I had this news, I, I, I don't even, we can't console you. Only God can console you. We, we, I don't know, there's nothing that we can ever say that can console you. Only God has the capability to be able to, to, to console you. There is no parent uh, and we always pray that we never bury our children. We want it to be the other way around. So it, it's definitely very, very sad. But then again, God's ways are higher than ours. We, I asked questions myself, but I said, but really God, really? Seriously, God? You know? So we've asked questions. We don't have the answers. And like Steve says, I'll just be. If I can be of help, I will be. So I will just be whatever I can be. And it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel sad. But then again, our hope is in Christ. It's, it's very easy for us to talk. We cannot feel the pain that you feel. So the best we can do is be there. And for me, I will be there. That is what my mother would have done for you, Phyllis. So I will just be there. Yeah. So thank you very much. Okay, good afternoon. Well, my name is Victor Hoko. And uh, all I can say, Eric has been a good friend. He's a son. And all he felt, you know, only God knows. I know all has been said with my brothers and my sisters. But not now, let's just put him to God. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> We've come to the end of this session. The rest of the speakers, that is uh, Jerry, Sam, and Phyllis, will be called at the appropriate time by the church. Allow me to finish by saying, when I read Psalms 121, I get a lot of consolation. Ni atingo wanga karango gode. Ere And when you read verse 3, Onego jaritua kikwe wa pothi, kendo kikonind manindo tere. Verse 7, which is the one I want to finish with. Ruthnyasai biruriti emasicheduto adier o biruriti maper. So for Phyllis, we can't console you. But God, who allows certain things to happen in our lives, will definitely redeem a bear. May God bless you. And I hand over to the church. Yes. Porque para que
Simama tuna upige makofi kwa Yesu Mwenone, emu miyumbu dangima Mwenu maria saimu miyumbu dangima Chuchu nyanduto, mendi kamisa ngu Kimana, mwenu mendi kamisa ngu Mwenu maria, emu miyumbu dangima Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah. Uh, there is a request that Tomo uko, Mrs. Tomo uko to speak. Millicent. Oh. Milibi. After her, then we will give some time to speak. I'm also the Dutchano who created. I'm also the Kanisa Dutchano who took part. I'm a Kachunka who took a chum on the wall and read Oko. Can I win Johnny Eric on the door? Mago ya gibo kama yeye, ikech Eric ni sebedo siapna, pola lango biro gadala kaindi, gima mane feelings. Eric, en odanjo kamora mora, biro tony sa kachane anti, kanti re gima re midwaro munda kony, tangu re dimar kony, kuro aneno ka gima no timo re na ni, odanjo na malid, Eric obuoga. Ginalonyo na maliti njo kama Nyathini yendine nyathima jaera Nyathima ya chigi ni gingata ngata Eriko kunyal kali konge Eriko eni nyathima ni nyasayo chwe Ukonge yo kama odikete Kurumi yoka eriko ringo mawe wakama njo kama Wanigi lit edalakai Wanigi lit mangenyi kumyathi eriko Wanigi lit nikichwa neno kwa donka gima warumo koro Akuwa yo mananyasai manoka uchunye Ni mondo makna mini gitendo umgiteko ni nduto Nikejo ngeyo gimomyo timbo mai 
kuwa akuwa imana kuwa mwono ni kachu nye riki ketika mambele di mi mama giri ya koka kubiro donki endo endi umyaka nye tegi maenje rika chia gisami nike chintire bugo madu wangu makorodo mamonde bugo ni endi mwono file oko bibedo mayote takuwa nye sain mwono kama na chu nye riku ketika mambele eruru kamano Anok anyalo hoi Yesu emanyalo hoi Anok anyalo hoi Yesu emanyalo hoi Good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for showing their support. And by virtue of all of you being here, you've already shown you're standing with our family through this difficult moment. Even despite till now, I still don't believe it. Because Eric was my brother. He nurtured me and my sister. He was also a father figure when my mother was in present. He showed us how to not only do stuff in the house be it from cooking, ironing, taking care of mom. Even from at a very early age, he took the mantle, he took the responsibility, he took care of us, me and Jerry. He taught me everything that I knew, he even advised me and anyone who knew Eric, Eric gave the best advice. Even at our most trying moments, from Dusit to even my own personal experience, even when I had an accident, he stood with me. He used to come every day to Kenyatta. Even when the doctor would tell me, Jerry Butu, to make a dog. But Jerry was always there, walking with me, supporting me. And those are the things I never took for granted because at that moment is when you know truly who your family is. And mom has always talked about friends. And I remember that during that dark period. October 22nd, 2019, it was always Eric because he represented my mother, he represented everyone in the family. He used to come relentlessly to even where I used to reside then in Kino. He'd come and bring food without failure. And after that, he'd go see his friends. He'd come and would watch Family Guy with him. He used to love animations, comedies things that would make him jovial and everyone that has come here to describe him they've just described him spot on because he was someone who always used to be a cheerful soul and of course his demise has hit us so bad even until now I still don't believe it and I can't even begin to imagine how mom feels because the pain of her mom mother losing her son or daughter is something you can't explain. And even for me as his youngest sibling, I still don't know how to be without him. And even 
before I came here, I was talking to my sister and she told me that this is the moment we give our last respect to him. And I still don't know how going back to Nairobi will be without him there. Knowing that even the last time when he left, before he left, before this tragedy, told me to my mom. And Derek was Alkwana Euro. Alkwana Mtumgeri Musa, Alkwana Euro Yakupeana. I remember even when sometimes I wouldn't get any sort of, or I was in a financial low point, a good we have made, but like, Nikochini, but Kipata, Lazi, Manda Kupea. That was his hallmark, that was his description. And for and for even he taught me how to cook. Even when my uncle used to visit, he'd be like, Abana, Akwa Pinangizi Wings, Apenanga Yivi. Even from how mom used to love food to be cooked, he knew exactly how to do it. Even when I used to fumble in the kitchen, tell me no one is perfect. Even to high school, transitioning from primary, I had a lot of doubts, but he told me, Pana, Mama Tashukulika, and for sure, even the search for my school, he was the one who instigated it. Even in primary, when I used to get bullied, I'd go to him. It helped me out. Even at some point, I even used to use that because I knew he'd always have my back. Even with his friends, they do, Paul, all those people that I met. He had a certain impact to everyone in one way or another. And he represented different things to everyone. A friend, a brother, a nephew, a confident. And the best thing about it, he was always there for mom. Like always. I can't even imagine how many times. Even when mom would get sick with a common flu, he was there. He Nas, her back to health, and of course, with Eric being there, you knew everything would be okay. So it's with a heavy heart. I'm perplexed, because how do you even go on about your day? Knowing a piece of your life is taking away from you. Everyone has told us it was God's will. And God is all knowing. I don't doubt that. But understand where we're coming from. It's just shaking us to the core. It's shaking our faith. Even for days to come. And I personally, I don't know how it will be. And how do you let go of a brother who you've always known? Who take care of you, who watch over you, despite your differences? Who always walk with you, talk to you, tell you even these friends of yours are different types, are not your real friends. Only a true brother will tell you that. I even run out of separatists to describe him because to me he was an enigma. He impacted my life in ways no one could even imagine. And even those times when in school mom used to come home late by virtue of our job, brother would always be there, something else, looking for us, taking care of us, 
You know, break time, lunch time, he used to make sure we've eaten. He took on the mantle, even when my mom flew abroad. He was there. He ensured everything went seamlessly, like you didn't even know mom wasn't there. He filled me in that cup in so many various ways that I can't even imagine. I still can't believe. Because I've seen death in other people's families and we go there, we eat. We tell them we are sorry, our condolences and leave. But this one, this one is like something I've never experienced before. Because it's shaking our family to the core. And with those many what if questions, and no one to give us answers. Because I've talked to different aunts, uncles, friends, none of them have answers. And there are also those things which I know we felt like we should have done different. He would have been still, he still would have been here with us. Slowly coming to terms with it being the will of God. And that one living God who is of hope he preserves him. And on the day of resurrection, he able to once again unite my brother. I still want to appreciate family members, friends who have come here in support, people who have been in our lives one way or another. And forgive me for those that All of our siblings, Eric was the one who talk fluently in our mother tongue. <coughs> and even in church, as I said, Eric taught me even how to iron. Even my transition from primary, even listening to the latest freedoms, reggae, it was him. Yes, you can be the
I wasn't really planning to talk to him, but I've decided to talk because I know there are things that I really would have wanted to say. So I just got in the carriage and uh, I'll say some of them on her behalf and my own behalf. It's not been an easy time for our family. It's been a very, very difficult time. This has been the darkest moment in my life. I thought I'd seen it all. I used to tell my children I've been through so much, we've been through so much. I don't think there's anything that can be worse than what I've gone through. But nothing really prepared me for this, I would say this is what the, this was the mortal blow, this was the ultimate blow. I never expected to marry my son or any of my children. I expected or any parent expects to be buried by his child or his children. I used to tell Eric, and I made him promise that Eric, in the event that something happens to me, please promise me you'll take care of your siblings. And Eric, promised me. It was my first one. And as you heard, I'm clearly saying they came, there are those who came to see him. And many people flocked to our house because they didn't need it. Many never expected in my condition I would be able to get a child. I not only got a child, I got a son and a very, not handsome, but beautiful boy. He was more than handsome and chubby. And he grew up a very lively, very active, very responsible, and a very loving boy. Yeah. Eric was so humorous. Eric would make people laugh. In fact, that's why even I know the girl can't even talk because Eric was omnipresent in our lives. In our house, Eric was everywhere. Eric used to tell me, Mom, chill. I'm in charge. I'm in control. When I wanted to inquire about them, no, 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 don't be stressed, Mom. I'm taking care. I'm like, every, everything, you're taking, mom, you relax. I know many of you were hearing, oh, Eric cooking and all that. And that's a boy thing, all that. But the point is, he took that special interest in whatever I liked, in what I liked. And whenever he was around, he could never allow anybody to even touch, let alone cook. Even be bringing me a fruit, he could tell them, ah, kaa uko kando, kwa juu nini mama nataka. Usishiki hapo na hizo mkono zapo chafu, chafu, kwenda uko. And then he brings, even if it's a fruit, he tell me, mom, I brought you the best. So I'm like, but ah, they are all the same. And he tell me, no, 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 no. These are seedless oranges. Do you know seedless oranges? That will put you at the So Eric had that concern. Anything to do with me, he got involved. Even if there were people around, he'd always take charge. Eric was my legs. Eric was my hands. Everything, everything, Eric was everything to me. 
even when I was in Copeland's or Mahat challenges or they were playing certain, we could sit down and discuss. We could even tell you this is option A, option B, option and then choose from there what you want. Even as we were coming yesterday, I think that was the most difficult and the longest journey I've had in my life. Because the last time we came home, As we were boarding, at any time we used to board, play, Eric would be there. As they are bringing those lift off wheelchairs, Eric would just tell them, no, 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 just go, jump, 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 and So they were like, no, we are here, this is our work, we are picking, we okay, okay, fine. Eric would just, you know, clap me and tell me, mom, let's go. They're not going to touch you here with their hands. <laughs> I'll get you up there. I'm like, Eric, we'll roll down here with you. He could tell them, this is my mom. And it used to be an argument every other time with the people at the airport. But after a while, they got used to it. They're like, oh, who knew like Kijano, who your mama? Eric would lift me literally up those And he could make sure I'm seated and back on that. When we came back, he'd do it again. And he'd be like, no, 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 don't touch her. So they, they came to, who does that? I used to look at Eric and I said, God, this is too good to be true. This is too good to be true. that God gave him to me. And I really thank God for Eric, for having given me Eric, so that I was able to experience that love, that care, that concern. Whenever I was sick, Eric could be there, Eric could be concerned. And if it's late at night, you tell me, Mom, can't sleep without medicine, even being killers. You're like, no, don't bother yourself. Before even you realize he's already dressed up, Mom, I'm going to get you paid killers. Even if you stop him, he'll still do it. Eric was such a loving person. Eric would go out on his way to help people. And he had so many friends. Eric had so many friends, even as you can see. There were Muslims there, a lot of them. There were Christians there, and they were all, they cut across all tribes. I used to ask him, you have friends, there's so many friends. Tell me there's this one, there's that one, there's this one, is a very good one, this one, is a very good one. He had many, many friends. And he would go out of his way. Whenever they had a problem, he would go mobilizing. When there was a funeral, or when they were raising funds, Eric would go out of his way. And I've seen when you, whatever you plant is what you harvest. I've seen it today. The young people who came here in groves, Eric's friends from Nairobi, they mobilized themselves. They made their own arrangements from Nairobi to here. They paid for their transport. And above all, they collected funds, which I can't even believe. A lot of funds on their own, which they sent here. For his friends, the young friends, I really wish to thank you. I was Eric's mother. So basically, I'm your mother too. You're still welcome. I appreciate what you've done for Eric. You've really shown you're his true friends. We appreciate it and we welcome you back home. And even when I'm back in Nairobi, I told you anytime, feel free to reach out to me.
So, I know what I can say again is Eric was really a beautiful soul. He was also physically, as I said, going to a handsome man. He used to call himself tall, dark, and handsome. We were even joking about it, crying and joking about it. Eric used to say, you know, if you don't have money, you should have the looks. If you have the looks, you can get a wife. And he was telling me, Mom, you know, I used to wonder, because he was so meticulous the way he used to dress. He liked being smart. He used to dress, you know, the last time I saw him, I saw myself, wow. Wow, telling me, ma'am, this is called look, look. This is called a pamba. There's something called, I don't know, lafage. I never caught it. You know, he kept repeating it, asking, what is it? But you know, those Congolese people who sleep in mud huts. But if you see the clothes there, they are dressed, worth even a million shillings. Even somebody came, I think, and interviewed her. I said, oh, see, this is the lafage. She said, yeah, look. I said, oh. But what I'm saying, he was such a warm person. Eric was so meticulous in whatever he was doing. Eric was a very clean boy. Eric was smart. And I was asking my son, which woman are you going to marry? Look, this is even too much. From the shoes, from the trousers, who will be ironing your clothes like this? There are very few women who can do that. She told me, Mommy, it doesn't matter. When you have the looks, I've told you, even if I'm still looking for the money, I can get a wife. And in fact, she's one who will pay that one. <laughs> to you. <laughs> because every morning, she'll be waking up, looking at my beautiful face, paying more that one. I was like, Eric, what are you saying? So, Eric was very humorous. This is just an example. Eric always had things to say. We could talk sometimes. We talk and talk and talk until 5 a.m. in the morning. We are sitting just talking. Just chit chat here and there. Everything. I used to tell Mary, you, you know everything. You could never win an argument. But he had these facts. So I asked him, you, you know everything. You know too much. When I'm talking about this, and I think I really know it, he knows it more than me. I went abroad there. He knows even those places more than me. Hey, I was like, hey, am I research? And he used to have his facts. Not just bubbling, he had his facts. So he was quite knowledgeable. Eric was quite knowledgeable and quite deep and quite respectful. And when it came, it came to issues, you know, life issues, you could see the boy had, you know, he had a lot of depth in him. And I used to pray God. At this, I was saying, God, I'm entrusting this boy to Little did I know that you'll be snatched away from us. And God taketh away that which is beautiful. Eric was a beautiful soul. We are going through a very difficult time. We are broken. We are bleeding inside. I'll repeat again and again, we are asking God, why, Eric? Why us? Why me? I don't have the answers. But this is the worst thing that can happen to a parent and a mother who has carried a child in her womb for nine months, struggled with a child. Until now, he was already a young adult. But this year, he was telling me most of my friends are married, they have their own houses, they're already, you know. So he was planning you know, his life this year, what he was going to do with his life. It was like, let's just pray. God will provide and lead us. Little did I know that God will take that which is so precious to us. I took finally, I'm really a but I 
ili uishtupanga bachi bachi. Uishtupanga bachi bachi sinzili. For having stood by us and for conducting the ceremony. Remember us in your prayers because we can't understand. I won't tell you to do. I'll be asking so many questions. We'll still ask. We might never even get answers later. Even that strength. I wish also to thank family. We need family. I used to thank my siblings who stood there by me. I wish particularly to single out Austin. Austin, you are an angel. Even the other siblings, great, fancy, cash. I wish to thank you all. colleagues, and everybody else who has taken his time to come here. I wish to appreciate you personally and individually. Thank you so much. What I will conclude is, we say in law, Liel Ber Kajirani, Liel Ber Kajirani, translated into English. It says, it's good when the funeral is the other side at your neighbors. When it hits home is when you come face to face with the devil. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. But uh, I still want to thank you again. And may God bless you all. Thank you. Sisolo ya gedala tala masayu ema pini osina katalo engera katali chobuto na maga we oni sisalaba siso sisolo ya gedala tala masayu. Yes, of Paki. Yes. Kamano, Ne Kanisa, Jodana, Welodutu Siepe, Mobiro, Mondo Okonko, Nyatiwa, Eric, Wanka, Kaka, St. John's, Wachara, Parish, and the Diocese of Maseno South, Yadolo Marwa, my Ma Reverend Janet Roa, Onge Nikech Tuo, Aneno Sobado, an evangelist in that parish, Kendo Wari Presente, to Nikech Anglican Church, and Kanisa Mocha and Rega, Ne Oknyal Wegap, Nikech Ne Okoa Mondo Bika, 
Koro nitie jadolo mwa Ngere Parish mochung elo jadolo ma St John's Parish the Reverend Rebecca Wino gi jadolo Phoebe ma wan go kar kae kendo gibro wuoyo bang'e tadwa ni mondo akel uh, ya ponjwadwa mondo omosumwa kwa St John's wachara nyaka wino sopa chigni Amoso we ni ruth yesu ni ruth opake Ginyenga ilu ngani meri ya tuino gola Anya kisumo kwa puonja Nesawo lo sonada kisumo kwa goli Anja puonja kanisa ma St. John's S.E.K. Waruwako I want to bring my condolences And also on behalf of my vicar The Reverend Janet To the family And I want to say that uh, Throughout the speeches, we have not gone off rail. People have spoken so well, so organized. It's like they had a script and they were just following the script. And because of that, we also don't want to go off rail. We want to thank you all for everything that has gone on. And we mourn with the family. I thank to speak at such a difficult time, more so Mama Phyllis. I was looking at the eulogy, and I'm seeing that uh, Eric is the age of my firstborn. So that is how I was re re relating with Eric, because I don't know him. But I want to thank the family, and I want also to thank our sister Josephine, with whom we are very close friends as a church for honoring us and also requesting us to conduct this service today. We have a song in our golden bells, and that is where I will end. It's just one um, chorus that I want to bring, and it goes with everything that has been said to the family, that now you can only have God as your friend. The song goes, there is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. Jesus. No, no, one, no, no, one, no, 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 Rebecca. When peace like a river attends my way. We thank the Lord so much for this far. He has brought us. Uh, we are deeply sorry. I knew Eric uh, around in the year 2001. And uh, they are the children I've been seeing all through and when I saw him last we were here 
at the burial of the grandpa. So it's somebody I know very well. And uh, there are questions that we cannot ask God and get answers. As Job had so many questions, but when uh, God began to speak in Job 38, 39, when you read it through, Job had to surrender. And so there are so many questions that you may ask as a family, no answers, but God has all the answers in consolation. So be consoled at the feet of Jesus. We don't know what you are feeling. When time comes that you want to cry, that cry it out. When you want to laugh, just laugh it out. And God will give you a new beginning. I don't want to waste much of our time. Uh, I want to invite our Reverend uh, Phoebe, who is going to speak to us. And Wakanairo, uh, friends, wa Eric. Hello, Wakanairo. God bless you. You are wonderful. And now, uh, God wants to speak to us. Saini Radaya Mungu. Wana Yesu Asipiwe. Ambia Mwenzako, Saini Shikanisha Radaya Mungu. Yes, as the Lord wants to speak to us in a special way. Kichanu. is above every other name, the name of Jesus. Your word says that at the name of Jesus every knee bows, at the name of Jesus every tongue confesses that you are Lord. And this afternoon I want to stand and say that even death could not hold you captive on that day and you are Lord. And so even in this situation we want to declare and to decree that you are Lord. And I want to make the prayer that Paul made May I decrease as you increase and you meet your children at the point of needs this afternoon and the children of the Most High God said, Amen. 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 Um, to our sister Phyllis, your children, uh, Carol, Josephine, and the greater Steve, the greater Uko family, I want to bring my heartfelt condolences on the passing away of this young man named after your father. I clearly see that he was named after Jaduong, and it is not easy. 
I want to acknowledge the fact that it is not easy. And there is an English saying that says that a smooth running race is not worth a price. Buona sifiwe. I want to say that my name is Phoebe Mark of the Ambo. Jesus is Lord over my life. I keep falling in love with Jesus over and over again. And I don't want to take it for granted that he strategically positioned me at this such a time to be able to serve within the Anglican Church in the Diocese of Maseno South in St. Mark's Migosi. And I want to thank you for the Reverend Janet allowing us to be here. Please tell, him that, tell her that we are grateful for allowing us to be here this particular afternoon. Uh, I want to quickly go into the Word of God in the book Gospel according to John chapter 14 and I will read beginning from verse 1. The Bible says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you so that you may also be where I am. Buona Yesu asifiwe. I want to say that the most difficult thing in our lives is saying goodbye. I do not understand and I do not even know and I don't even want to think of what my sister Phyllis is experiencing. Nevertheless, I want to say and even my colleague clergy will tell you that I am not one person in my morning that you will easily be able to handle. And that is why the Lord allowed me very many years back to also lose and to bury a son. And from that experience that I had, even as a priest within my ministry, we come to console, but I walk together with them to allow them to go through what they are going through. Praise the name of the living God. Because saying goodbye in our lives, my sister Rebecca was a witness when I was burying my father. I could not walk to the grave. And it reached a point that when people were going forward, I was backing off. Because a time had come that we were going to part our ways. And we are saying, even as the ministers of this gospel, that we want to see that beautiful land, that land that there will be no more crying, there will be no more heartache, there will be no more tears. Nevertheless, it is difficult in our lives to be able to say goodbye and to part ways. Even when we are seeing off our beloved ones, when they are going overseas, for those people who have gotten an opportunity, the airport, and that one becomes very difficult. What about when we are sending off the people that we love? We are never going to see each other in our physical bodies. This gospel is written at a time that Jesus is with his disciples. And he is preparing them psychologically because he is moving to the cross. He is going to die. And he is telling them, do not let your hearts be troubled. This is the portion of scripture that I chose today. And if Phyllis and my sister Jerry and your brother and all these people, if you are not troubled in your hearts, then something is definitely amiss. But I you. And that is the portion of scripture that I have chosen. But I am sitting and looking at you and I'm saying, if your heart is not troubled, then something is amiss. Yet Jesus is telling his disciples when he is about to go and he is not going to be with them. They have journeyed together. You can imagine that the disciples of Jesus were only with Jesus for about three years. But it was very difficult for them to let him go to the point that he was going to die on the cross. 
for your sins and for my sins. And because he knows, and Jesus understands the situation and the circumstance, he tells them, do not let your hearts be troubled. This is a scripture that I continuously read over and over again and ask myself, what is wrong with Jesus? How can he tell us in our most difficult situations that we do not understand? And I want to encourage all of you, this family, to continue asking yourselves this question. What happened? What is it? And I want you to continue asking and asking and asking. But to also tell you that you will not get answers. But my joy this afternoon that I keep saying that one day, one time, when we meet at that beautiful show, we will be able to know and to understand the many questions that have disturbed us in our hearts. And it is not only them. So many of us have gone through difficult situations in our life that we keep asking and we have never gotten answers. Today, I think it's five years down the line and I keep asking myself, why did my father have to go at that particular time? Because sometimes I find myself in very difficult situations and I say that if my dad would have been here, Phyllis, you will get to situations that you will say that if Eric would have been here, I want to tell you, you will, severally, 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 you will. And all of you would say that if Eric would have been here, then things would have been different. But I want to encourage you today, just like Jesus was talking to his disciples and encouraging them and telling them that do not let your hearts be troubled. I want to switch a bit to the story of Lazarus. When Lazarus had died, the Bible records that it had taken some time before Jesus went. And Jesus was a very close friend to that family. And they had told him and said that please come, please come, please come, please come. But at the appropriate time, the Bible records that Jesus came when Lazarus had been buried and the body was giving a bad smell. And here as the family of Lazarus, they're looking at him and they're wondering because they had seen the ministry of Jesus, the way Jesus had walked. And they knew that if Jesus had come just at about that, the time that Lazarus had died, probably he would have raised his hand. Probably he would have woken up. Probably he would have walked again. Why? Because the ministry of Jesus had entered the healing of the sick, raising them from the dead. And here was a friend of his. The Bible says that when he came, he looked at the siblings of his friend Lazarus and he shed his tears and he quickly asked them and said where have you laid him? But Martha had something to tell him. He said, Lord this is where our brother was laid. However, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Today, as a family, you may be asking yourselves the same questions. And you are saying, if you would have done this, if you would have done this, I am here to remind you this afternoon that Jesus is never late in our lives. Hallelujah. He is never late in our circumstances. He is never late in our situations. We may be able to think, Yakomba Amechelewa, but he is never late. They looked at him and said, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. So by the time that even Jesus was asking them, show me where you have laid him. They were wondering and asking themselves, why are you asking to see where he has been laid? Because it is already late and he cannot be able to rise from the dead. But what happens? He got up, he goes and he calls out and says, Lazarus, come out. And the Bible says the way he had been rolled with clothes, immediately Jesus spoke. He came out. I want to say if you allow Jesus to speak to your situation, whatever situation it is, the Lord will be able to intervene. As your hearts are troubled, I want you this afternoon to choose to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that some trust in chariots, others trust in horses, but we choose to trust in the name of the Lord our God. Amen? I like the person who came here and said, all of us will be able to go, and you will be able to remain as a family. And so, what do you want to do with your family? What do you want to do with your family? Hallelujah. Where is your 
help going to come from when we will be sending our brother to rest today? Let your hearts be troubled, I want to tell you this afternoon. However, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in me and also trust in my Father. That I am going to prepare a place for you. Eric's place had already been prepared. And I love it when you say, Nijo mabeyo, ebabe, yeso paki. Wale wazuri ndio nafanya nini? Kwa hivyo inamanisha sisi ambao tumebaki yapa, including us. Sisi ndio wabaya zaidi. Hallelujah. Angalia jile leku mwamio mwamio wendi yombaya zaidi. Mwangalia mwamio wendi yombaya zaidi. And so because our God is a God of second chance, He is giving us an opportunity. Wani mwamato. Sisi ambao tumebaki. The Lord is giving us an opportunity to be able to change and to work out our ways. Wakati ineza patikana. Because the beautiful, really, I have gone to so many funerals. I'm telling you the testimonies. Naka hapo nunashanga hato ni, hey. Yeah, wakume sisi mungu bana natupatia wakati for us to be able to repent. Bwana sifiwe. It is only in one funeral that one time I went very many years back when somebody stood and said, ni uindugu alikuwa mzuri. Lakini alikuwa na shida ngapi? Alikuwa na shida ngapi? Na usijaribu kuacha kibeti yako karibu nae. Unasikia hiyo? Alikuwa mzuri lakini usifanye nini? Na sasa sisi wajaluo, sisi tusemi kwa nini matanga yetu. Ukisema wakaanza ngamano wacho nini? Wacha kile ngamu penji. Ya? Ngamano ti brena? Ngamano penji, acho nani nyaka ni watch watch no. Kani yonge gigimi wacha tufanye nini? Si ungenya masha. So for all those who die we see. But for us who have remained, I say, there is nothing about John Eric to be saying. It is us that the Lord is interested in. Amen. That thing that is troubling you, yes. God is saying, trust me with it. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Trust him with it. Yes. It may be your children. Yes. Trust your children yes. with the Lord. It may be your work. Trust the Lord with your work. Yes. It may be the, your finances. Trust the Lord with your finances. One time I went to the bank and as I was waiting on the queue, there's a lady who walked in and she forgot her bag. So the person who was serving us, when it was my turn, I said, he called back and said, is this your bag? I said, no, this is not my bag. Probably the owner would have, has forgotten it there. Akanambia, hey madam, iyo kibeti, haina pesa. Nkambia, how do you know? Akanambia, us women. Hata hii yangu iko nayo. Sasa hivi utakuwa tunaenda huko kwa grave utaona hapa. Are you seeing where I put it? Wapi? Hapa. Nashika tu hivi. Kama nisiposhika hivyo hapa tu. Hata sasa hivi nimekaa na iangalia tu hapa. Because where you are heart, where your things are that is where your heart and your concentration is. How do you forget your bag when you have 1 million in it? Is it possible? Si tunajikanga tu hapa. Hapa haitoki. Na mta kikugonga hata hivi kwa town kama umetoka Unaangalia tunaangalia. Hapa eh, amenifuata ame kutoka bank. So, the Bible says, trust in the Lord. Trust your the Lord with everything that you have. Trust the Lord with your children, trust the Lord with your finances, trust the Lord with your home, trust the Lord with everything that you see. Because he says, in my father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you, I am going to prepare a place. And so Eric's place had already been prepared. Yetu ndio bado wane makono podo wa chandra ya pinikai wane mapodo wa iwaka wane mapodo mrimo mako wa wane mapodo wa ngilete chunwa and so we just want to surrender ourselves before the Lord it does not matter my sister Phyllis the situation and the circumstances he says that when the devil shall come like a flood the Lord has promised to raise you a standard above and he wants to raise you a standard above to be able to prove that even in this situation he is still God. He will raise you a standard above. If you trust him together with your children, he will raise you. He has raised other people. He has lifted them to greater heights. He has watched over them. He has taken care of them. The only thing you need to do is to trust the Lord with your life. Trust in him. 
and also trust in his father. Because your place has not been prepared. And when your place will be prepared, he says, I will come back for you. I will come back for you. I do not know if you are ready. But ever since I was in Sunday school, I had the preachers preaching. And today I also preach saying that soon and very soon Jesus is coming back. And he's not coming back for anybody. He is coming back for a clean and a spotless church. I do not know if you are prepared. I do not if you I don't know if you're prepared for his second coming. I want to end by saying these words. One time we were seated under a tree in a funeral. And when we were seated there, Nini Kanguka, the branch. Munadiskia, the branch. And I remember it was a funeral of one of our colleagues. Yes. Matanga ya mchungaji. Na wachungaji tumekaa hapo hivi sisi wote. Alafu nini kanguka. Li, nini, branch. Na tukatoka mbio. Watu walikimbia. Eh? Then our bishop, the late bishop Francis said. But we sing. Polo dalawa. Polo dalawa. Polo dalawa. Polo dalawa. Ya damwaka mbudhi ya polo. Wachungaji na makola. Akatombia na kumbia mko tayari. You are not prepared. Ya mwobe no ni dalama behe. Dalama behe. We want to go. We want to go. But he looked at us and said you are not prepared. If a branch can fall. Na machungaji wakimbie hivo. Sebuse nyinyi. Yim tabaki. Yim tabaki. Mkiona kama machungaji ndi wametoroka. Na nyinyi mtaka hapo. Muna sema asisi tuko tayari. Ya une mubro ringo bakoro umako muna lepu wagi. Yeso paki. And so it is time for us to prepare our hearts. To prepare for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. To choose to trust the Lord with everything that we have. It is difficult. I do not know if somebody has ever broken your trust. But if he has or she has, you have gone through that pain. But I want us to entrust our lives. To trust the Lord with our lives. Because he never fails. He never fails. Every other thing has changed. But his love for us has remained consistent. The Bible says that he is watching over his word to perform it. I am who I am. He is watching over that word to perform it. When he says that I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you, he will never leave you. He will never leave you, my sister Phyllis. The Lord works out ways. One time I was traveling from Nairobi to Kisumu in a bus when my late father, I was told, was sick. And I left the parish quickly in the evening. And I did not even look at the cell phone that I carried. By that time, Zile Tekno Zilikwa Zimeingia. So my husband and I had the same phones. So I quickly took my phone, the phone that I had, boarded a bus, and went. And as I was on the road, just as we were approaching Kericho, Ule conductor can if you can use a madam fair yako. When I looked at my bag, I realized that I did not even have a single cent in my bag. Had boarded a bus from Yamasaria and we were approaching Kericho, and I did not even have a single cent in my bag. But I said, God, I thank you for bringing M Pesa. I looked at the phone, Mikangalia. When I entered the M Pesa pin, it was a wrong one. I said, What? Then I checked. I realized this was my husband's phone. Because you see, the few privileged ones that our husbands give us their empesas. The few privileged ones. Because these men, when they want to even remove money from their pockets, wanageuka hivi. Kichanu sindio? Wana vinyo wana check. Anageuka nga hivi. Ata mimi ni mchungaji wake, lakina kita kunipatia kitu kwa yo waleti yake, anageuka hivi, anatoa alafu, anenebe pali shika. So I had his empesa pin. I put his pin. When I put his pin in the phone, I realized that he did not even have a single cent. I said, what? Now I started calling. I called my phone. I called my phone. I called my phone because I quickly knew that I had come with his phone and mine had remained. He didn't pick it. I tried calling my sisters in Nairobi. They didn't pick it. I tried calling my friends. The people that I thought would come to my rescue and send me money, they did. So that conductor, Kakuja Tina, Kasema, Mami, Pesa, tumepita kericha, nikambia, eh, nimesahau pesa nyumbani. Lakini tukifika Nairobi, tutalipa. Nikambia, we, usitucheze. 
Tushawana wa mama wengi wakona kama we unabaki na kuru. Munasikia yu maneno. Na wiyo ni mtumishi. I sat there and I said, God, even in this situation you have to be Lord. Yani, baka mimi saizi nimekua tu mkora. Hapa kwa basi. So when we got to Nakuru, it was at night. And remember he had given me a warning. Everybody that I know is not receiving my calls. I said, what is wrong with these people? You know, those desperate times that nobody is receiving your phone. So when we, as we were alighting, in Nakuru pali niliambua ni tabaki. Na pia mimi ninashuka. Ninashuka nikienda kurelax kidogo nikiambia mungu. Sasa venye ninaenda hivi. Arudi kweli. Kambia mungu, even in this situation you must be called. And somebody calls me from behind. And says, Padre, yani, inemi yonge gipes bus. Kanibia mchungaji. We ndiyo ujalipa gari. Nika muangalia, nika ambia, eh, hey, mimi ndiyo sijalipa gari. Ah, usijali, nitalipa. So, I did not know who this person was. We went out. Haka ninunulia hile chakule ya kukula pale pia. Nika jiburudika kwa jina ya mtu. And meanwhile, in our conversation, I'm trying to find out and my friend Rebecca knows. I will not tell you that I don't know. We kept our conversation, trying to find out who is this. And he, he really knows me and knows me. I couldn't afford to tell him to inyenga chande. To kiena kwa basi ya kalipa pesa. Haka sema, na usi, wahi ita mchugaji yangu tena mkora. We, Lord. Chuko yata ukipenda usirudishe change ni mekupatia. Haka sema, God, I thank you. You are God. When we arrived in Nairobi, he said, no, my son is picking me. But where are you going? I said, I'm rushing to Kenyatta. My father is at the ICU. He said, my son will drive you there. His son came, picked his only son. You are driving as fast to Kenyatta. And when we arrived at Kenyatta, katoa ile waleti yake. Can you patia shilingi elufungapi? Tano. Do you think that I cannot choose to trust that God? Yeah? Can I choose not to trust him? So as we tunachana, sasa ni muliza, encha inienga, tuka ogea, tuka nikambia, sasa, akanibia, please, make, find time and come. Come again and visit me in your home, in our home. We were glad to receive you. I said, oh, thank you so much. Eh, God bless you. But I lost your contact. Please help me with your contact. So he gave me his contact. I said, oh, thank you so much. He said, please come, please come, please come. He said, come here. Now, ile stage yenyu, ina itu anga aje. Mja, pali venye wana, wana, waki ingia kwako wana ita aje. Haka niambia, ah, saizi, shuka tu hapo ogada. I remember, oh, this one I must have met when I was serving in Sinyolo. So I took his number. We went, we parted ways, but eventually, I want to tell you that when you choose to trust the Lord with your life, he remains faithful. So even with you, he will remain faithful. He has remained faithful. If people here would say their stories and their stories and what the Lord has done in their situations, you will realize that your situation is minute. Utajiangalia mi chari kabisa. Iko ni ai. Karamara ni berberi. So we are praying for you and we hope that the Lord will be able to sail with you. If you forget every other thing that I've said, remember to trust in the Lord. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy, Jesus, but to trust In Isaiah 40, 31, that those who trust upon you, you will renew their strength. They will mount wings like eagle. They will run but not grow weary. They will walk and they will not faint. We are trusting upon you, Lord that you will renew the strength of Phyllis, of Jerry, and Sami, together with the entire Uko family. And also to the friends of Eric, the family is beginning a new life, a life 
without Eric and we are trusting upon your faithfulness that you will walk together with them. And as we go home, Lord, because you did not bring us here in vain and you have spoken to us, may we mend our ways that we may always be ready to come to you. Because our work for you is not in vain. That you are going to reward each one of us according to our deeds. Thank you, Lord, and take charge. For it is in Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. When I was forgetting something, uh, Sister Phyllis, uh, Josephine, and the entire family, please receive the condolences of our bishop. When you, you told us about the demise of Eric, we were with the bishop, and he knows that we are here. So receive the condolences. At this particular time, we want to give to the Lord. And uh, we want to give to the Lord as a kitchen utekchad. Let us just give no order, just come and give, then we will move to the green side. And uh, there is a request that we we just wave to Phyllis. Let us not come and hug. Just wave.
After the vote of thanks, I would want to ask all poll bearers, all the poll bearers, please you come so that we assist in carrying the body. This will be a, a read out statement so that I don't forget um, all the things that I uh, think I'm required to remember. So I'm reading now. So all throughout this very unexpected and very tragic demise of our beloved Eric John Oukonderito, we have graciously received extraordinary and tremendous support. We cannot name and remember everyone, but this on behalf of the family is my attempt. So if anyone is forgotten, it's my fault. We would like to thank all of you for your prayers, for your physical support, for your financial support, and for your emotional support and every other way that you have stood with us. We appreciate all your sacrifices. We thank you all for choosing to be here and condole with us during this difficult period. We thank all our friends, all our colleagues, all our family and relatives for continuing on this journey with us. We are in Kisumu, Otongulo. It is highly unlikely that no one understands English, so I'll translate it to the The Okmog Winch Kisungu, Gimawacho Ni, Ero Urukamano, 
kabisa kuwa mchungkodwa sama Eric Owewa to kilit mawa winjoni kaka uchungkodwa kaka ukonyoa ero urukamano on behalf of the family ukonyoa kabisa gini pet gini lit to kaka uchungkodwa ka ojiwa ome omiyo gini pek ne odong odok matin okorumo ba ukonyo wa mondo pek ni okobedo mapek kaka dino bed kadino ukuchungko do ero urukamano nyasai omedu nyasai obedu obed kodu to as a family ero urukamano kabisa i will revert back to english We thank the pastoral team, Reverend, and the church for blessing Eric's final journey. And finally, we thank God Almighty for going before us and working with us through this most difficult journey. And we continue to thank him because we know that he will not forsake or abandon us as the Lord's word says in Deuteronomy 31:6 Be strong and of good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for the Lord thy God he it is that doth go with thee he will not fail thee nor forsake thee thank you everyone um tie watch more so um we have prepared some uh, food for everyone so please let no one leave here without uh partaking in what we have prepared uh to just uh, as we condole and as we lay a request please don't let the food go to waste Thank you very much everyone. Praise God. We want to move to the <coughs> grave site. And uh we want to move with the family and uh pray where the coffin is.
words as you slowly Nature, <laughs> Tomoko no yudu wich kuot kuda chai, mesiko. Jo mariek no rien kaler marupolo. Jo jogo mane uponjo ji, mangen. Mondo tim gik makare, no rien kasilwe nyaka chien. Tu wangeo ni ngato ni tiere polo. Mado bi mondo chua kwa chien giko. Kata katu oke to denda kama, to eringrogni anane nyasai. E ana nene biwanga awuon. Nyaka nene ne imio angono ne kum Kristo Yesu. Kurose ele kum fuenyruok marja warwa Kristo Yesu epin. Kristo emane ose tie koto. Kendo se chiwoa. Chiwo ose nyiso arati ro kum injili. Ningi mama nyaka chengi tie. Ne akelo gimoro. Ne oka kelo gimore pinyini, ndo oka nyal kao gimoro ago. Mulocho, bende norwakne lewni, mara chere manakaka iruwako. Manakaka giruwako, kendo okno rutinyi ngigi, 
oko ngang ekitap ngima na huli nyinge ni mura kende ni malaika mage wachino kikubogu kechindalo biro mangato makata mana joma oto manebu do winji duonde miwogi oko joma timbe gibeyo no chier mi udungima joma timbe giricho to no chier ebura dala wora ni tie udi mange kadani okaman dikora senyi sun wadi monda los nu karda ka sedi mi los nu karda ana duog omu ndo un bende ubi uda koda kama antie kana winjo duol moro mae poloka wacho nia dikni chakre ka uono jogo motho ko geno ruoth gin johawi ro bende wacho ni gin johawi adier nikech gin yue kuom tich gi matek ni mar gik ma gisetimo the kod gi emo miyo ka wageno kuom ngono mogundho mar nyasaye ma ok rum kod mich mar adiera kuom Yesu Kristo wachuo chuny nyathiwa Eric John Ouko elo ka kwadilo dok kuom lo kendo buru dok kuom buru To wangeyo gadiera ni jino chiero akuom jomotho nikech chier mar Yesu Kristo ruodhwa Mabiro ka oringre manyap kendo matho miyo loko bed machal gi riwre owuon mane gi duong kotiyo gi teko mamiyo keto gik moko duto e bwo lochne ndalo duto nyaka chieng amina mane momiyo gine nyim kom ruoth duong ma nyasaye ka gilame godi chieng gotieno e kalu kendo jal mobet e kom duong biro dak kodgi kechok nochako kagi kendo riyo ok nochako logi Bende lit mar chieng ok nochako nwangi nikech nyarombo mane manie dier kom duong tir nobed jakwath gi notel ne gi e soko mag pi mangima kendo nyasaye no iwe pi wangi duto emomiyo all of us let us join together in the family prayer our father who art in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not lead us to the test, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now you can remove the lowering gear, and for the family members who would want to.
just pass it around to anybody who would want to do that. You can be able to do that. Please help us.
Just help her push it. Saidieni, Saidieni. Just help her. Make sure she doesn't come down. Next flower. Lift him up. Another one, another one. Eric Strait. Eric, what you think? Okay, good. Good, 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 Sami. Let's come round with it. Come round this way. Uh, next, Next floor. Any other flower? We have finished what we wanted to do here, so we want to go. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. 
Anajwa ro teko, teko man kuom Yesu mondalo, wenja e pinka ya wa, pinyo ponko di mudo, oyu magi anja o, Yesu miya teko mondalo ji, toko ro koro ere, gima di mona donjo edala, Koro ere, ima di kengna, Yesu, kata tuwe kengna, kata di chobu tona, manga weo ni Yesu e musalaba. Anadwa ro teko, teko maru o Yesu, monda lo, wenja e pinta.